Okay, everyone, let's get into using Groove Pages. So, as you open your account, you're going to come up to this dashboard that we explained in the previous video. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Groove Pages and Groove Funnels. So, just give you an idea that Groove Pages is the page builder and Groove Funnels is a funnel um, component to it. So, if you don't know what a sales funnel is, it's basically a process that allows you to walk people down a specific route in order to do specific tasks. So, for example, if you were to create a opt-in form to collect an email, that would then be the start of your funnel. And so that completed the um, action that you wanted to have them fill out the form, they would go to the next stage of your funnel, which would be um, a thank you page or a page that would give them the free offer that you offered them for doing the task that you wanted them to do. So uh, what Groove did, they put it into this one button. However, they will be breaking it up. So if you do go over here and you see Groove Pages and Groove Funnels, they're basically the same thing. They'll take you to the same place. However, Groove Funnels is going to be an additional component that they're going to break off um, later on in the future. So you're going to get an extra app that gives you the same functionality. It's just going to be um, separated into funnels. So not to confuse you, they're the same thing. It's just how you use them. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and click on Groove Pages. And what this is going to do is going to bring you into your website dashboard. Okay, and this is where you're going to have all of the websites that you're working on. Okay, up here at the top we have a search option. So when you start creating lots of different sites, you'll have um, you'll be able to search for it. And we have all of our current sites. And generally, what will happen is when you create a site, they'll take a screenshot and put it over the image. Um, sometimes when you haven't worked on your site for a while, whatever, it might not generate the image. Don't freak out. It's just going to be a way to see what your page currently looks like. So here I have um, a couple of sites that I'm working on. I have um, a lot of projects for 2023 and I'm just starting to put them together. So the first one here is the Mastering the Groove platform is what you know you came to and what you're either watching this video on or that you signed up through or however but this is going to be my mastering group i also have some business courses and things that i'm doing here so i have the small business course um which is going to be making money online and also going to integrate with groove um that you'll have access this is one site that you'll have access to if you upgrade under my account otherwise you'd have to purchase um separately this is my learn with Eric site this is going to be my main site my hub site where everything that I do is connected to the site so you'll have access if you go to learnwitheric.com you'll have um, links to all of my websites that are listed here I have a coloring book page so this is going to be my Kindle site where I have all my books and things for coloring pages coloring books um, my review blog, this is going to be my affiliate site. So I'm going to be doing a lot of affiliate programs and products and things like that. And I'm going to have um, a, a authority site that I'm building called my review, my review blog. So that's that. My indie, publishing my indie Publishing Academy is tied into all of these as well, where I'm going to do have PLR products, products that I create, and a specific affiliate program that I, I am offering. Um, so if you want to get into online business, I'll have a specific product that I've created that will have affiliate programs. And then here, um, to beer or not to beer, this is going to be my niche site specific to beer and alcohol and all that stuff. Um, I'm still working on this site as well, but it's just a niche site. So this is kind of what I'm working on right now. Um, so I am actually using Groove to run my businesses. I'm just basically breaking everything down. Um, to do what I want to do Okay, but when you come here, you're gonna have a blank screen because you haven't had any websites created yet So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and create a demo site that um, Will have all the functionality, but it just won't be connected to a domain. Okay So 
what you'll do is you'll come up here and you'll see this big orange button or pink button I'm sorry that says new site okay so when you get ready to create a new website all you need to do is click on that button and it's going to come up with this um, template block okay so <clears throat> When starting out, you don't want to start with a blank template, okay? Unless you're really good or you know exactly what you want to do, you want to kind of stay away from this. Um, now, I'm not saying that you can't use it. It's just easier to create with a um, regular template, okay? But we have a couple options here. So first thing we have here is we have um, single pages. We have complete sites. We have funnels, we have webinars, pop-ups, and my templates, okay? These are just the categories that Groove has decided to use. So if I go over here to single site, it's gonna come up with the single pages for a website, okay? All right, so you'll have all these different templates and you see how they generate the thumbnail. Some of these will say premium, so if you're on a free account, you might not have access to these. Um, so it's another reason why you want to upgrade to the um, a paid account. You'll have access to some of these. Um, now that's not to say that you can't try to design them yourself, but it's easier to have a template. Okay, so you have all these different templates. <clears throat> you go here and you can search for templates. You can arrange them by alphabetical order, newest, oldest, um, however. So you can easily separate those. And then you can jump into the specific areas. So say if you wanted a complete website built on a specific niche. So we have six figure coaching template, vegan food delivery template. We have a um, creative agency template, digital agency website, real estate, um, natural remedies, restaurant, and so forth. Okay. So these are just basic templates. You don't have to use all the pages in them. They just it's what they are. Uh, we have the funnel template, so if you want to develop a, a sales funnel, okay, you have these. Again, you can create with a blank one. You can have um, whatever. So this one here is live webinar template. We have three pages. This one here is, is advertor um, advertorial funnel. Um, we have e-commerce funnel, book free sh plus shipping funnels, things like that. So kind of scroll through these and kind of see what they have. Um, they're constantly adding new templates to the website, so um, you might not see what you want or you might see something similar. You can edit all of these, so it's not a big deal. Um, if you want to do a webinar, they have webinar um, templates and funnels. Again, they have all the pages set up. It's just an easy way to just connect all your stuff together. So um, we have pop-ups, so if you want to create a pop-up, on your screen you can do that as well and then you have my templates and these are the templates that you've created or you've used um, in your business so these are just a couple templates I threw together to play with um, then you have campaign type so if you want to go like a single website um, at advertorial you'll come up here with all of your specific templates if you want agency i will show all the agency if you want automotive and cars, okay? All of these are just different ways to categorize all of the templates and all the pages that Groove has created. So um, go ahead and look through some of these and see what you want to come up with, okay? Very simple. And you can see you have a lot of them. And then down here, you get better campaigns, we have tags. So if you have a specific tag, so you want real estate, it'll show all the real estate templates okay um restaurant things like that so again this is just a way to get things started to play with groove right so let's create a basic site here so let's go with a vegan site let's just do that just to show you so here we go we have our vegan site this is the page and we have all of the page template will show you here so when you pull up a page or whatever you can see what the, the template pages look like again you can change all this around and be good so let's just go ahead and do this so this is the template that I want and I'm just gonna come over here and hit um, import templates 
and once this happens you're going to be able to create the name for your site so simply come here and type in the name we'll go to vegan power okay and we'll go start building the site all right so now this is your groove page okay groove site this is your builder this is where you're going to be most of the time developing your website okay so it's very simple very easy um it's just a matter of how you want to design stuff so up here at the top we have the name of your site if you click on it you can change it edit it or whatever then we have our um sizing so if you want to look how it looks like as a mobile device on a tablet um, side view tablet you have again wider screen and then your computer screen when designing its height you want to have this button on all right so if you don't have it on you can jump between each of these and make changes to the specific page but it won't take effect on all the others but you want to start with creating your site on the main computer monitor so you have everything set right so design here on the main monitor and then once you have it set up on your main monitor you can go ahead and easily um, manipulate other versions okay from there you have your undo your redo we have your view so if you click on this it'll show you what your website will look like so you can scroll through see what it looks like all the pages and all that um very easy okay and then from there we're going to go ahead and we can actually start designing so over here you have your publish button and your save button when you click on the publish button we'll get into this a little bit more but we can go ahead and we can manage our domains we have our hosting options and we have our publishing options. so domains are where you're going to ha get your um http www.sitename.com and we'll come over here and we'll come to our domain tab and you have two options you have groove subdomain which is choose your name .com, or you can have your own custom domain the only reason you would have this one here is if you had a legacy domain so for example if you are working your website on wordpress and you don't want to move your blog over you would go ahead go ahead and add a subdomain here and then that would help connect to your existing site but what we're going to do is we're going to consider it being a full site so we'll go here to mydomain.com and then you would click manage okay and then once you're here you'll see all my websites and then you'll see that they're connected and you'll have these icons okay so what this basically means is you'll come here and you click on add a domain and then you can do a full domain setup or legacy again if you're going to have a website on another site and just want to add group pages to it you want here to go to legacy otherwise you go to the full domain okay from there we'll go ahead and do a search for a domain and then we'll continue right so setting up a domain is not hard i just don't have a domain right now that we're going to use but you just go ahead and go through the steps but we're going to go here and look at this so when you have your domain set up you have a couple options you need to set the hero page so you have a you have set up as a groove page site a groove cell which is going to be uh, like a checkout page so it would be like your domain.com forward slash checkout um, you can set it up as a membership site you can set it up at your blog or you can set it up as a shopping cart okay so for me personally main thing i do is i have all my sites set up for web pages except for yourreviewblog.com for there i have it set up as my blog so if you're going to go to that website you'll go to my blog before you would go to any of the other pages okay um again here all they're all set up so if you want to run it on a store a groove cart store 
if you go to your site.com and have it show up at your store you would set the shopping cart as your hero product if you want the blog as a membership site or if you want to set it up as a web page okay the groove cell is if you want to have a specific checkout site so this is something that we would go well, we'll go into a little later but you know for every site that you have that you're selling products you want to have a group cell link to make sure that your site looks like you're still on your site when someone makes the purchase from there we have DNS entries you can come in here and we can update any DNS entries so if you have entries that you need to have for mail or for other um, settings you can go ahead and do that then we have our 404 pages so when you create a website, you want to have a 404 page. So if you have a page that's not created and somebody goes in and types in that link, you'll go to your website slash 404 and then it will be that page that people see when they're um, trying to travel to your website. Okay, and then you can come here and you can delete your domain. So that's pretty much with the domain. Again, we'll get more into that later as we explore groove but just know that you can have your own domain set up so once you have your domain set up we have a couple publishing options okay you can publish the um, entire website you can publish um, and go to a specific your specific website or you can get the link to your website now when we have a other site we can go um, with multiple pages we'll have another one like this but I'll have you know publish the page current page or visit the page same thing but page level compared to website level okay so publishing is very simple it's just a matter of coming up here to publish and clicking on it managing your domain and then hitting the publish button okay <clears throat> all right so now very simple you know how we can go ahead and change for the specific sizes we can change the name of our site we can view the site and we can publish our site well how do we design our site so working with your website is fairly simple if you hover over some of these items you'll see that they transfer to an orange um, box around them okay so this here has an orange box around it and it's going to come up with my menu right so these are the options that you have for when you work on your item so here i can move my item around so if i wanted to drag it and drop it say under here okay i easily moved that over okay i click on this again and return it to where it originally was or close to where it was right now if i don't like what i did i just hit the undo button and i'll step back throughout the set and now my site back to where it started from there if you click on the specific item again you'll come up with different menus so here's my settings i can choose my item my um, image that i want to use i can have the alt tag and i can select my link so when selecting links we have a lot of different options we can go to none which means it does nothing we can go to the specific page that we have on our website. We can go to the block on our site. We can go to a different URL. We can go to a blog. We can go to a groove cart store, or we can have a pop-up. Okay. Once we choose one of these, say if you want the link, it'll come up and ask us what we want to do. So here we have the image alt URL. Then we have the URL that we can put it in. We can open it into a new tab or carry over any URL parameters. URL parameters are basically going to be something that's more advanced if you are coming from a secondary site. So if you were coming from a WordPress site and you wanted to come here and you were like trying to collect username and password, then you would go there and do that. If you check, the check mark will show up. And then once everything is done, you can click here and um, save the option. So let's go here. Let's go to your URL and we'll go to groover.com. Okay. So 
So now I have that, open it in a new tab, and then I can come here and oops, alt text, and choose an image, go to my library, and I'll come here to my little book, I'll select it, and now you'll see I have my image, I have my alt text, I have my URL, I have this or that, whatever, and I can update, okay? So now that image has changed to the picture of the book. Again, if I don't want it, just go ahead and undo. Okay, very simple. So as you scroll through here, you'll see that you have a lot of other options, okay? So the first are these blocks, okay? So as you saw before, each of these ha sections is a specific block. When you click on a block, you're going to come up again with your main um, settings, and then you have your style block down here on the side. You'll also see these plus marks, okay? When working on a page, these plus are going to tell you where you will put your information. So if I were to hit this plus here, it's going to come up into my block library. Now the block library is where we have many pre-designed blocks that we can use to add to our pages. Okay, this again is massive and they're going to be adding more and more and more. Okay, so let's go over this pretty quickly. So we have a couple types of different blocks. We have designer blocks, which we have currently 295. We have wireframes which are basically these empty, empty blocks. We have direct response blocks, which have 287 of those currently. We have pop-ups, where we have 120 of those. We have 12 mega menus, and we have saved blocks that we've created as we work on our websites. As you click on the main list, Okay, we have my designer blocks, and then we have our categories. So each section will have its own category, again, with specific number of blocks. So here are our empty blocks. We have alert boxes, call to action. We have contact forms, contact us blocks. We have um, content blocks with a lot of information in those. We have countdown timers. We have lead magnets, miscellaneous boxes. We have footers. We have galleries and they go on and they go on and they go on. So as you go through here, you can look for the specific category for the specific type of block that you want to add and then go from there. So here's a pricing block. So let's go ahead and just add some pricing. So when you find a block that you want, all you need to do is click on it. And it's going to load that block into your page. Okay? And once you're on that, again, you can click on specific things. You can have favorites. You can delete it. You can duplicate it. Um, and you can add to the clipboard, things like that. So when working with the Groove platform, you have a lot of things you can do. But once this, you have the orange around it, you have a couple options. On the right hand side, we have text options. Okay, we have how we want to have our colors and weights of our um, text. We have how we our main parent fonts. We have sizes of our fonts. We can move you know, the different sizes. We can center, left align, right align, full justify. We have italics, underline, strike throughs, and so much more, right? So you can go through all of these and start managing and letting your site start taking effect. We have backgrounds. We have a main background color. So we can go here and say we want black. We can do a black color. We can play with the transparency of that color. Okay, we can change the color to something else. 
we can go ahead and we can go through the spectrum we have the grid or the spectrum however you want to do it you can do a hex color RGB colors um, and then the HSL colors so however you work your colors you can get whatever color you want for your background okay um, click out of that the next thing we have here is we have patterns if you want to have a pattern you can do a pattern in the background again you got sliders to adjust the thickness and the size and all this fun stuff right we have colors pattern palettes that we can play with to get the stripes um you know all that from there we got video so if you want to put a video on the background okay um that will have a video playing in the background or if you want you can do an image on your background okay so all these options are available to you from this option here okay from there we have um, animations we can have animations happen things flying in flying out we have delay options so if you want to have something happen on the delay so say maybe this block fades in after a minute um, you can do that you can have spacing you can have padding in your margins so anyone that has developed a website before can easily come in here and just choose what they need to work with okay and then um, start designing and manipulating the site okay layout positioning transparency global styles attributes okay so all these are here on that particular block okay um, then we can come here to other blocks here again we're depending on what it is on the specific item your options over here are going to change and then you have your other specific items here one thing that you can do with these you can also reposition them so if you look here at these items you can move your block up okay so now it's above the fold or you can use the down arrow and it will start moving your block down so it makes life a lot easier when you're trying to move specific components around on your screen okay if you don't want that you can hit delete I'll ask you are you sure you can confirm or not you can duplicate it which now gives you a copy okay and then you can go ahead and you can delete it if you don't want it again like that make sure that you're deleting the right thing um, make sure whatever is highlighted which would you, if you're going to delete something make sure you highlight it and then you can delete the whole thing um, as you can see I, I screwed up and I deleted the um, this that's what I had selected so make sure that you are on the correct item and then it's here what it is if you want to change what this says simply highlight it and rechange the name okay so that is basically the start of group pages okay you can come here and start doing a lot of cool things um, you also have your um, save blocks so if you want to to design a block and save it as your own you have to star if you want to copy to the clipboard we have this new option where you can copy to a clipboard and then you can put it into another page or another section uh, very simply uh, again duplicate and delete so let's go here and delete that just to get us back to where we started okay so now the next thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to go over here to this little menu over here so this is where we're going to start working on the main components of our website so we have a couple options we have our elements tab we have our blocks we have our assets and we have our settings so let's go over here to settings and this is where we're going to create the settings for our pages so here we have page settings we have site settings, we have share a site, we have export site, and we have instant edit bookmarklet. Once you choose one of these, you're going to have your sub menu here. So we have our page information, we have SEO, we have sharing, uh, styling, tracking codes, redirections, 
exit prompt, page backups, okay, and then we have our save as template. So first off, we're going to do is we're going to come here to our page settings, and we're going to go here and see the page information. This is the page name, okay? So whatever you want to name your page, you would call it here. So we'll go here, we'll go here, oops, go to the diet. The diet, okay? And then you can come here and, and put a favicon if you want. Just click on this, it'll bring you into your um, image library and then you'll be good to go. I'll go into the image library a little later. Once you've made your changes, click on the check mark and then your changes have been made effect and now you'll see that you can't change anything but you can't get out. We have SEO settings, okay? We have a, a, the ability to index the page. So if you want to index your page or disable indexing, so if it's like a download page or whatever, this won't be scanned by Google and people won't find it on the internet. We have your metadata. So this is really cool. This was just added into Groove not long ago. Again, you have your page page title, you have your keywords and your description. And you can go even deeper and in into the Dublin code um, metadata. So for more advanced SEO people, this is more important. You can click on this and you can come in here and change even more stuff. So you have the page title, the page creator, your keyword, description, author name, contributors, date created, date modified, um, type of site, if it's a blog or article or whatever, um, if you have the specific format of the page that it's set up as, any identifiers, the source of the page, um, you have your language, you have coverage area, if you a specific coverage area, and then your copyright information. And this is all additional SEO information that gets put into the page when you publish it. Okay, so if you are not a big SEO or you're learning too much about SEO, don't worry too much about this, but this gives you extra power to manipulate your web page to um, rank higher in Google. Okay. Um, here we have open graph options, so you can create an open graph I, um, icon, and then you can put your open graph title. So what an open graph is, is when you send out a URL and it's posted on social media, um, you'll have your own image and your own title show up um, on the website or on, on, the, on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. It reads this information and, and shows it. So it's another way that you can... Um, more market and show your your site from there we have the SEO score this is kind of gives you an idea of what you might want to change or what you need to do so right now my SEO score is a 7 out of 9 uh, we need to add some image alt tags uh, we need to um, change to un any unique links and then everything else needs to be good okay and you just go through these um, and it'll tell you what you need to fix, okay? Um, styling, again, if you want to have a specific font, you can set the font. Any custom CSS you need to have, you can put in here as well. Tracking codes, so if you have any tracking codes or information that you want to put into your page or your site, it's all right there. Um, redirection, so if you want to redirect to a specific site, so um, what type of redirection type you can go to an external URL or an internal page So this is good if you want to say go to www.mydomain.com forward slash deal and They'll type in that URL and then once that comes they'll come here and it'll redirect them to an external URL or an internal page that you control Okay So it's a little cool little extra um, exit prompt so if you want to have an exit prompt show up, so by checking this option, visitors will get com get a confirmation before leaving the page. So you can do that and say you'll have a you know you're about to leave the page. Did you save it or you're about to leave the page? Did you sign up for um, our newsletter? Right, those types of those messages that you get. Um, page backups right here will show you all the backups you had for that particular page. So if you 
um, design a page and make a mistake, you can go back to a previous version of your page and then you can save this as a template and reuse it over and over and over again in your um, your site. So very useful, very helpful. Then we go into our site settings, basically going to be the same thing. You have your site information, the site name of the site, you have your favicon, you have your SEO options, you have robots and your um, site map. You can turn that on or off. Again, you have your open graph image and your title. You have styling, so any type of CSS, tracking codes, again, redirections, and then a cookie alert. So if you have you know have cookies or whatever, you can do that as well. So now from there we have this option share a site. And what this does, it allows you to share your website with another person. So what I'm going to do is I'll create this page and I'll send it, create a share link that I'll post in the video that if you click on it, you can go ahead and actually import that template into your website and really go ahead and um, start playing with it, right? So if you're designing websites for other people or if you want to design with another person, you can design it on your account, send them a share link, they'll get it, download the um, thing and go on from there. So this is really good. Um, ClickFunnels does it and we have this included with um, group and then we have our export site right and the export site allows it to take your entire website and it's going to zip it up into a zip file and have all your pages so you can go ahead and upload it to Bluehost or even another site and gives you the option to create cool websites with Groove and then you can sell them as um, HTML, regular HTML pages to people that want to run sites off of Groove, okay, which is pretty cool. And then you have your instant bookmarklet. This allows you to create a bookmarklet that you can go then put into your um, browser and then you can edit that specific page um, on with Groove, you know, not having to be logged into your account. So that's another really cool option. So that is going to be your settings. Okay, there's a lot here, a lot to, to compress, but you know, you kind of have the idea that you have a lot of power here with these options. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to click on these assets. And this is where you're going to work on your specific pages. So as you build your website, you're going to have different pages. So here's my primary site website. I have my um, main page, I have my checkout page, and I have a thank you page. Okay, so these are all the pages that are going to be on my website. I also have this hide from navigation. So I can move this down here and hide this from my main navigation. Okay. I also have these three dots, which gives me more power. So I can go here and set this as my home page. I can rename the page. I can move it to another page on this site or onto another site I'm working on. I can clone it. I can duplicate it. I can delete or I can um, show in navigation. Okay. So that's pretty much here you can mix with those. Then we have our funnels. It's basically the same thing as the pages but we can set up new funnels. So if you have a sales funnel that you want to do you could put to come here and create a new funnel. We'll just go use this one here to have this and it'll show me all the pages that I can use in it. I can say import my funnel and now I have my funnel pages. Okay. If I go out of this, I'll see my live funnel pages. I can go here and I can edit this. I can call it um, sales funnel for free report. Okay. Um, and then this will be all the pages that are related to that um, thing. So I can e really easily organize all of my pages and funnels and I know uh, what connects to what and, and how things go. So um, very powerful. Again, webinars, same thing. You can go ahead here, click on webinars. Again, pick the webinar that you want. 
you see all your pages you can select which specific pages you want right look at the specific looks of the page and so on um, but I want to you know just go ahead and collect all of them so I'll just click on that and then I'll go into import my webinar and just like that with the um, just like with the funnels I have now I have my webinar funnel set up and I'll do is click on the specific page okay so now you can see I have my first page in my webinar funnel all set up I just go here and I start making my changes and connecting pages and all that stuff so very simple again very easy to use uh, when you're working on your sites um, again here pop-ups we have you can do a thing thing with pop-ups click on this and it'll bring you to your pop-up directory and you can choose which pop-up you want to have or you can cancel out okay so that is going to be your asset section the next thing here is going to be our global blocks so you can go ahead and create a global block um, click on your plus here and then you go into your global block designer and then again you pick on what you want to have as your global block it'll then show up there and you can continue adding this and creating whatever and then you can save and exit and now this will bring me here and if I want to add another block okay let's say like here we'll click on this I'll add my this and I'll go here to global blocks up here you'll see global blocks is now shown up and I can click on this it's just still generating the preview but now this will be my global block that appears on any page that I want to have okay so you can have menus and videos and whatever that are going to be constantly on all of your different websites showing right here in your global blocks okay um, so that's going to be that section there and then we have our global blocks and then we have our assets so this is where you'll go and add any specific assets that you want so we have all our elements here which shows you everything that we offer or you can jump down you can go into buttons we have design buttons and standard buttons we have our countdown timers we have different device options here we have forms we have layouts your columns we have lists we can do we have different types of media navigation bars tabs we have text and we have other okay these are just like the bl blank slate template that you can use to create your um, sections of your page so this is basically groove pages once you have your page done you go ahead and hit save and it'll save your page and if you want to publish again just go through the publishing options here um, creating websites with groove is very simple it's just a matter of deciding what you want to create and how you want to create it to get out of here simply click on the exit and then you'll see now that we have our page listed here and then we can go ahead and we can edit the site clone the site delete the site or go ahead and manage it so this is the basic foundations for groove pages um, we'll go more into this as we develop some more videos but this should give you a good idea of what you can do with Groove and the Groove Pages option. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video.